hello there all you crazy little gamers it's your girl Ilka the crab back at it again with another video this time i asked some folks on discord as well as instagram shameless self plug i know but i asked them some questions wanted to have you guys get to know me a little bit better so let's just go ahead and get things started here now, the first question that we have comes from Tasteful Gaming, and they ask two things. But first of all, if time and money were not a constraint, what would you do that you never had the chance to? So, this is pretty interesting. There's a few different things that I'd like to do. First of all, go to Japan. That would be so fun. That, that kind of environment and a lot of the various hobbies that I have kind of relate to that, especially with like gaming stuff, but I also really love a lot of the culture and the architecture and just the food. It'd be so fun to travel there. In addition, I would also just love to travel to all sorts of different landscapes around not just like the US, but all over the world because it'd just be so cool. I would love to see all sorts of wildlife and various picturesque landscapes that I would never get the chance to otherwise. I'm not big into traveling with like crowds or anything. I'm not here to like see the big tourist attractions. I just want to be the person that can see a lot of these really cool places that not as many people get the opportunity to see. Tasteful Gaming also asks, what movies slash TV shows would you recommend? Now, I'm not the best person to like give recommendations because I often don't actually consume a lot of that kind of media. I really stick to YouTube and the video game slash Nintendo realm. So in terms of like other things, it's like, mm. but I must say I have seen The Last of Us. Of course it has to be video game related because it's me, but like that is such a good show. Oh my God, I absolutely love that thing. And for my movie recommendation, I don't know. I just, I, I don't watch movies. It's kind of unfortunate. But even though at the time of recording this, this hasn't come out yet, everybody needs to see the Super Mario Brothers movie. I know it's video game related again. I can't escape it, but you all need to see it. This is in order. We have another set of two questions. This one coming from Lemurian Seed, otherwise known as Zeg. And their first question is, if Faye dies, what would you start fixating on instead? So, I know that like Faye is what I primarily focus on, but I am a fan of all video game related things, although I've grown up and my focus is on Nintendo, like anywhere, anywhere in the video game realm, I have some amount of interest. But let's say when Faye dies, it will die at some point, as all things do. But when Faye does go down, I don't know, I still would like, to, if, I, if I'm still creating things at that time and I'm still finding interest in YouTube things, I would like to focus primarily on just other Nintendo things. I love Splatoon and I love other like Fire Emblem games and I love Xenoblade and I love Pokemon and there's all sorts of things, there's all sorts of different franchises. So. I'd probably continue content in that realm because it's still stuff that I'm extremely passionate about. And the other question is, what FD game that you haven't played do you want to try out the most? So for me, this is most FD games. Uh, as a reminder, I got into Faye about five years ago, which was also my first introduction to the Fire Emblem series as a whole. So, you know, I'm like, I'm getting there, I'm playing some of the games, but I think my answer is going to upset a lot of people, and that is Fire Emblem Fates, and I know that I can't play Revelation, because again, eShop just closed down, but it's fine. So, I honestly would love to play Fates, though. I love a lot of the character designs, I know the plot isn't great, but it still looks appealing to me. I liked Engage's plot, so therefore I'll probably like Fates. And I don't know, I just, it looks like the most eclectic group of characters, mine is probably Engage, so I really want to get to know them more. I also know it's got some really good map design, and I just love the general gameplay of Fire Emblem, so yeah, I would say if I had to pick like one of those routes, probably Conquest, honestly. Next up we have a question from Luciano Alvarez Leva who asks, do you think that there will be a Gerald and Citri duo in the future? I would love this. Oh my gosh. I am a sucker for just the really cutesy, coupley stuff. 
So I would absolutely go for a Gerald and Citri duo. I don't know when they would be. I would say we would probably get something before too long. I could see them being a possible bridal choice or maybe Valentine's again. Or if they brought back the dancer banner, that would be really nice. Like one of those where they tend to have like the more lovey-dovey stuff. But like, I think it's absolutely a possibility. So the next two questions are actually really good because it's a nice transition from the Instagram questions into the Discord ones. But these both come from Tice, who asks both Roy, or more so just says Roy, and when's that Roy build? So I may or may not just not give two shits about Roy, honestly. I'm, <laughs> I apologize. I'm just not a big Roy fan. I the most I care about him is that like I like his playstyle in Smash, so I do not see myself building a Roy anytime soon. His legendary does have that spurn fodder, so right now I don't need it, but he might die. So I'm sorry, but Roy, Roy ain't doing anything in my barracks. You know, I'm gonna leave that to you because like you're the Roy person. I wouldn't want to like encroach on your territory or anything, right? So our next question comes from Longbow Gaming, otherwise known as Ultros, who asks, Ooh, I got two questions for you. What's your IP address and the three numbers on the back of your debit card? Well, you see, this is where we have a problem because I don't know numbers. You should know this by now. I don't know what numbers look like. I don't know how to add and subtract. So I, I wouldn't know, but don't worry. I'll get back to you when I do figure it out. Thanks for letting me know. Like, I'll, I'll like DM it to you, don't worry. The next question comes from Spooky, who asks, Okay, now it's possible for girl units to get resplendence, which ones do you hope would get them? And, you know, there's all sorts of girl units out there. I'm gonna try to avoid seasonals because that does relate to another question, so instead, I will give you a very simple answer. Not this gaming! So, while we're on the topic of grail resplendence, by Lizzie asks, now that Summer Ilger can get a resplendent outfit, what themes do you have in mind for both of them? Oh, oh that's so exciting. Uh, so <laughs> I honestly don't know that they're going to do like seasonal grails, and if they do, then take my money, I ask, just do it. So for Summer Ilger specifically, put her in a fairy outfit. I say this for both her normal one and her summer one. Give me fairies, please. Oh my goodness, that would be so exciting. While we're on the topic, give a fairy resplendent to Vero, and give like Ignatz and Oscar one. I think he would look really good in it. These, are, this is just an order from me to Is. Give me the beautiful things, and I'll give you my money. Simple as that. Next up, we have two questions from Phoenix, and his first one is Cheetos or Doritos. This, this is very important to me. I want you guys to know that both are acceptable, but Cheetos are better, okay? I love the different forms of the Cheeto. Doritos only really got like the one thing going for it, and even then, like, Cool Ranch as a secondary option is just lame as hell, I'm sorry, but Cheetos have so much more potential in so many different forms that they are simply superior. Although, just like the normal Doritos, based as hell, absolutely. And the other question from Phoenix is, can Summer Ilger beat Goku in a fight? Now, we've seen what my Summer Ilger can do. She can just regularly tank Abyssal maps, except for Yuri's, that one doesn't count. But you know what, Goku isn't the same as Yuri, so like, who really cares? The point is, my Summer Ilger, strong as hell. She's got a death scythe, she is good to go. The next question comes from E-Man, who asks, Are you in a secret relationship with Chloe? You know, it would be it'd be great. It'd be a huge scandal. I would get so many views off of it. The answer is unfortunately no. My heart does belong to Claude Von Regan, but you know, can't get that sweet clout now. God damn it! The next question comes from Z Wizard two four seven, who asks, "What made you get into doing YouTube?" So, me with observing the fake community for so long, I noticed that. There wasn't nearly as many videos talking about some of the stuff that I was interested in in regards to Faye specifically, 
when it came to a lot of favoritism related stuff and I was like I have so much favoritism I want to like show it off more so I wanted to kind of expand things a little bit and I think it was worth it I mean in my last video I got several comments from people talking about their own favorites and how exciting it is to like just build who you want because you like them as a character and that really really just made my day seeing those comments and seeing people just as passionate as I was and so that's reason enough for me thinking that I think this whole thing was just worth it in the first place. So yeah, favoritism, that's really the, the like simple answer for it. Next up we have two questions from Kizen. The first one being, how are you so pog? I mean, I don't know, I just, I just make dumb shit on the internet. I suppose that equals pog to some people, you know what? If it works, it works. I'm not gonna complain about it. Keep liking my dumb shit, it makes me feel better. The other question Kizen asks is ranking of your favorite Nintendo franchises. This is hard. Oh god, this is so difficult because I love so many. It's honestly hard for me to like say like this is my favorite, this is my least favorite. Like I just they all hold so much for me. Like right now, it also depends on like what I'm into, because right now I obviously Fire Emblem is probably number one just because of the community that I've made as a result. But like other games I'm really into right now are Pokemon and Xenoblade, like those two are like kind of my focus. But Splatoon is also super high up there. Mario in general, that includes all the spin-offs. I grew up on Mario, so like that's always gonna hold a very special place in my heart. Specifically like Mario Kart, Mario Kart DS was my absolute jam as a kid. So like hold that whole series in a high regard. Oh god, it's it's impossible <laughs> to just pick Zelda. Oh my god, Tears of the Kingdom coming out in like a little over a month. I'm so excited. It's just, it's so difficult. But I would say if I had to pick like my top three, I think that's probably the easiest. Fire Emblem, Splatoon, and Mario. But again, there's, there's too many good games out there. It's impossible. The next question comes from Xena who asks, songs you enjoy outside of Nintendo. Now this is very difficult because I literally don't listen to anything else outside of Nintendo. It's a little depressing. If we can like bend the rules a little bit, I like Devil Trigger. That's a really good song, but I know that it's not, 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 don't think about video games, Julie. Don't think about it. Just don't do it. So not including those. Uh, growing up, I did like music before I just got swept into the video game OST hellhole, but some artists that I still like now, like I don't really know about specific songs, but I think I'll- uh, I like Taylor Swift when I was growing up, so I kind of hold some of her songs with some amount of nostalgia. I also really like Imagine Dragons, they've got some really good stuff. Again, I don't really listen to any of this anymore, don't really have like this desire to go see them or anything, but I don't know. Those are still songs that, like, if I hear them, I'll probably sing along to them because I listened to them a lot when I was younger. And next up, we have a few different questions from Silius, and the first one is, which Ilger is cuter, bass or summer? Oh man, you can't, you can't just do that to someone, <laughs> but if I'm being honest, as much as I would love to say I love both of my children equally, I do love one more than the other. My summer Ilker has gotten me through thick and thin, and while I'm so glad that I was able to get the Forma Ilker like, a couple of months ago, like let's be honest, <laughs> which is the one I talk about more, and which is the one that I have more merges on, but I mean both are adorable, both are valid in every way possible, but you know, I, I can't be dishonest to my viewers, like no YouTuber has ever done that before. The next question they ask is, which Fire Emblem character would you be if you could? So this is really fun because I kind of have two separate answers. <laughs> the first answer would be Marianne because, I mean, I already feel very much like her. I love animals. I am definitely a more soft-spoken person, so I can relate to her on a spiritual level. I honestly think I could vibe super well with her, and as a result, I, I personally like my personality if that makes sense. So, you know, it would be cool to be Marianne, but my other option is kind of like the opposite, <laughs> and that is Ivy. I love Ivy's aesthetic, I love the fact that she can appear really powerful and like a, an amazing woman. We love her, we love our strong independent women, but she's also a complete dork. 
and also just like me for real. So some sort of combination or just one or the other. I just want to be like those two, okay? They, I love them. They're some of my favorite characters and it'd be really cool to like if I was able to, in that world, become them in that way. Elise's next question is, Octolings or Inklings? Oh man, both have such great designs, but I've got to go for the classic Inkling design because mainly I'm super basic. So like my main character in Splat 3 right now is just like the one with the promotional art that just has like the one really long tentacle and then the one that's braided on the other side. I don't know. I, I think it's just because I'm a basic bitch and I know it. So I like to go for the basic look, but both are 100% valid. The last question they ask is, what is Ilger's favorite game to play with Hellbindi? This is such an adorable question, might I ask? Oh my god, love it. But I also kind of have two separate responses for this. If we were talking like modern day, unironically, I think Ilger would be into something like a lot more grown up. I feel like she would go to Hellbindi and be like, Hey Hellbindi, can we play like Mortal Kombat? It's gonna be so cool. Look at all the cool stuff going on. And, like. It'd be so crazy, and I think that Hellbindi would just kind of like begrudgingly go along with it. If we're talking actually there, I honestly think that Ilger would be a hide and seek mastermind. And Hellbindi, both of these scenarios, just kind of, you know, nods his head and plays along with it. He secretly likes it, but he doesn't actually want anybody to admit that, of course. So, yes, there you go. There's your cuteness overload for today. The next question comes from Zookapig, otherwise known as Sad Zooks, apparently here, and they ask, Lanku? To which I respond, oh shit, I have an opinion, I have an opinion that's like different from Long. oh god, people are gonna think that I'm terrible because I don't like Lanku, oh my, it's, it's fine, it's fine, oh my god, everything is okay, everything's good in the neighborhood, oh sh he's coming for me, oh, I gotta get out! And the last question here comes from, you know, you love them, the 100% organic comes a lot, as you know, we all know, who just asks, why are you such a bottom? Now, look, look, look me in the eyes right here. I know you can't, but I want you to look right in your computer screen. I am built different. Enough said. And with that, that brings us to the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed getting to know a little bit more about me in ways that you maybe weren't expecting. But regardless, I hope this is entertaining for you all. And as a reminder, you can go ahead and join the Discord down below or follow me on Instagram because that's where I got these questions from. So feel free to do so if you haven't already. I would love to see you there. And I've got a really amazing community that's small, but we're here, we're just having a good time. So. Until next time, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye now!